Hello guys, it's me Sunsar and I'm back on YouTube with a new tutorial on 3ds Max. So today in this tutorial I'll be going through reactor cloth. In Max we have got two different ways of creating a cloth simulation. So one is the reactor cloth and another is from the cloth modifier. From the modify panel you have got the cloth, okay? It doesn't show up now. Okay, that cloth modifier and the reactor cloth. Okay, so in this tutorial I'll be going through the reactor cloth, not the cloth modifier. And in the next tutorial, next time, I will be going through the cloth modifier as well. Okay, so to begin up the, with the tutorial, first of all, let me begin with quickly setting up a scene. Uh, okay, let me just create a box. Okay, and then create a plane. Okay, let me move the plane up. Okay, okay, let me name it uh, cloth, which is cloth, and this box. Okay, let it be box. Okay, now let me um, expand our perspective viewport by pressing Alt W. So once I have set up my scene, next thing I'm going to press the F4 to turn on aged faces. So since uh, this plane is our cloth, we need to have uh, more resolution to it. It has got very less resolution for now. So let me bump the length segments and width segments to about 20 and 20 both. Okay, that looks pretty good. And if not, we can later on add on turbo smooth to that. Okay, the next thing is to add our reactors. So we can access reactors from helpers down to reactors. Here we have got a bunch of reactors, and also this panel right here. I got that. Just right click on there and look reactor. I can turn off that, also turn on that. Okay, we have got all the reactors right here as well. Okay. Okay, so mm, for this particular scene, just we are going to create a cloth. So we will need two react uh, re reactor collections. That's rigid body collection and the cloth collection. So let me create both of them. Okay, select that and create this. So these icons are non-renderable. So even though if you render them, they won't be rendered. So you don't need to worry about that. So we have got two. Um, collections. Uh, one is rigid body and the cloth. So I think you definitely will tell that we'll add our cloth to this cloth collection and then this box to rigid body collection. Okay. So if you didn't know, here it is. Select the rigid body collection, then add our box to it. Okay. Uh, add our box, or you can also pick it. Okay, like this. And onto our cloth, you can add our cloth. If you say pick, you cannot pick that. If you add, you won't see anything because we have not added reactor cloth modifier to this. So go to modifier list and add a reactor cloth to it. Sorry, reactor cloth. Okay, so this will enable it to be a part of a cloth collection. Okay, then you can add, pick, or add it. Okay, once that you have added both of uh, the object to the respective collection so now you can start uh, adding a property to these objects so you can do that from go to animation reactor property editor or right here and down you can see your property editor as well okay just open this okay now let me select the box and let me choose it concave mesh um, inactive or maybe on yielding okay okay and then select our cloth and just put on the minus 0 0.1 okay so we don't need to change much settings for this uh, but if you're dealing with something else you might want to change something else you can you might want to increase mass up while using some other reactors as well you have got a bunch of reactors right here okay so mm, this one just for the reactor cloth so this much will be fine I think okay uh, next thing what we will do is we'll preview our animation 
so here is the preview animation button or animation reactor preview animation okay just preview that we have this real time preview OpenGL window opened so we can play it here we can also move our scene like this and check what it looks like okay let me press P key to play it or from the simulation play okay so here we have got our cloth okay let me just press P to pause it again and close this one so that our preview looked um, good so that our simulation was working fine so next step will be creating our animation so if you slide our, the slider right here there's nothing happening now so to create our animation in our viewport we need to press on the create animation button in our reactor panel or animation reactor create animation so this action is undoable so be careful before clicking it first preview animation if, if it is fine you can just create your animation okay it'll take a little time to calculate so let's wait till then once that is done you'll get a reactor message about analyze complete so you can just close that now if you slide the slider you can see the animation into your viewport okay so that's good once uh, you have created your animation you can delete your rigid body and cloth collection so that does not affect our animation okay, and you cannot undo this action remember that so before creating the animation you might want to save your scene so if you want to make any changes to your object then you can do that okay so if you see that it's a little low res so it's not looking too fine okay so you can add a turbo smooth to make it a little more smooth okay or maybe increase the iteration to 2 okay let me press F4 and see what it looks like so it's now a lot of lot more smoother oh that looks really good okay uh, let's say if you want this uh, cloth now it's uh, animation but if you want it as a model let's say you want to put it as a table cloth in your interior model or something else so you just want this frame so what can you do that is just right click that convert to a table poly and then you won't have the animation but just that still so in that way you can also model table clothes and something more interesting I think you can imagine yourself what you can create with this reactor cloth uh, the only thing to rem important to be remember is you need to add a, a little more resolution to your cloth or let's say the plane you want to add it to cloth collection and add that to cloth collection but before adding to a cloth collection you'll need to add a modifier called reactor cloth uh, so I think uh, that's um, just what you need to know um, uh, I think uh, I'm done with it I hope it has helped you a bit I know that it's a little bit short but uh, that's um, really great if you don't knew about this you have got to know something new okay so this much uh, for the reactor cloth this time and in the next one I'll be going through this let's say cloth modifier from the modify panel so it's completely different from the reactor cloth but almost the um, properties are same but you can get a lot more flexibility or a lot more control from the cloth modifier so in the next we'll just use that and try to model a curtain and animating flag like that so I think that will be really fun okay hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, I'll try to upload uh, more tutorials in upcoming weeks um, so till then see you goodbye